Many residents of Dauphin County, Pennsylvania, still remember March 28, 1979, when a partial core meltdown took place at the Three Mile Island nuclear power plant at 4 a.m. Two days later, the state governor announced a voluntary evacuation, but panic had already set in. Almost 200,000 people fled the area. Although authorities said there was no threat to people's health or the environment, the incident raised alarms at the Nuclear Regulatory Commission and changed America's attitude about nuclear energy. So they focused on trying to improve uh, our response to an incident like this. And so that involved improving training of reactor operators, uh, giving them better information about uh, events that had occurred at other power plants. The incident gave the NRC authority to have a representative at the power plant who could carry out inspections. The NRC also slashed the number of licenses to open new nuclear power plants by a third. Cleanup of the radioactive waste began right after the accident, but it took another 14 years and $1 billion to take the spent nuclear reactor fuel to a permanent storage site in Idaho. But local residents still don't believe that the power plant is safe. Eric Epstein heads a group called Three Mile Island Alert. His team started tracking radiation levels at the nuclear power plant two years before the accident. Now their work focuses on how the radiation affected locals. We interviewed hundreds if not thousands of people who had the same experience, which is consistent to exposure to radiation, metallic taste in the mouth, eye irritation, sunburn, hair loss, vomiting, diarrhea. But officials maintain the radiation did not cause permanent harm. One gentleman said to me, you know, uh, the radiation you got is kind of like having uh, a cigarette, the radiation from that, or drinking a glass of wine. And I said to the gentleman, in the state of Pennsylvania, it's illegal to give my children cigarettes and wine. Joyce left right after the evacuation was announced. And she says the authorities never properly informed residents yeah. about what had happened. Despite the resulting media attention, locals remain reluctant to close the plant for many reasons. And if that closes, it's going to put over 600 people, around 600 people, out of a job. It's going to hurt the economy very much. The Three Mile Island power plant is scheduled to close in 2019, unless state authorities provide the plant with additional financing. Anna Rice, Felicia Bokalets, VOA News, Dolphin County, Pennsylvania.